Hey YouTube, it's Susan, and I have been playing around with my Quick Fuse fabric sheets for inkjet printers, and I give it a thumbs up. It works exceptionally well. Um, I just wanted to share with you what I did. Um, I used my Canon MP560 printer, and um, I would imagine that any inkjet printer would do fine. Um, I also use a program called Picasa, I'm going to come up, sorry, my desk is a mess. <laughs> and then there's glare on my computer. Um, I use a program called Picasa. It's a free program that you can download from Google. Um, it is really cool. Um, you, can, um, you can do a lot of your editing and stuff, you know, with the pictures. You have a lot of options here with Picasa. It's probably one of the best management tools that I've ever used. Anyway, so when you get ready to use this paper and you want to print it, um, you will pick some printer specific settings, which I'm trying to drive and hold my iPad, so. Um, you're going to come here, and I only know how to tell you to do this in Picasa, and like I said, it is a free download, Google, if you don't know where to find it or whatever. Um, you can message me below and I, I'll give you the link for it. Uh, you want to make sure you download it from Google. Don't download it from any of the free software places unless you do CNET. Uh, it's C is in Charlie, N is in Nancy, E is in Edward, T is in Tom. CNET is reputable to download software, but any of those weird random name domains are not. So even though they may sound it, they are not. So you really want to get this from Google. Uh, Google does provide this. Um, so you open up the printer settings, and I know there's such a glare, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Um, but let me, let me show you that one more time. Um, you have printer setup, printer, which is where you can choose which printer you want to send it to. So obviously you would want to select the printer that you want to send it to first. Um, if you have any border or text options you want to do, do that first. Or first, second, and then third. Um, if you only have one printer and it's your default printer, then you don't need to do this one. Um, so you go to printer setup, and here you'll have media type. And you'll want to look, you want to scroll down. And what I used was the t-shirt transfers. And I'm sorry if this is shaking, y'all. I'm holding it with my hand. Um, T-shirt transfers have a similar texture to this quick fuse iron-on material, um, so that is what you really want to use. And then if you have a different way to feed your photo paper, um, like mine for instance has a photo feeder on the top and then it has a tray at the bottom that has regular paper in it, uh, you'll just want to change your paper source to the appropriate, lo the appropriate location. And then you just click OK and then you print. Um, and let me show you what it does. All right, I'm going to cut you off for one second and come right back. Here is the printer or the picture that it printed. Um, and you can see the texture from the fabric. And this is a black and white picture with just a little color in the center. Um, and it just turned out gorgeous, y'all. It is perfect. And so if you've ever considered using this type of paper and you weren't really sure if it was worthy because it's really expensive. I mean, this paper was $20 for 10 sheets and I probably got a discount on it somehow, some way. But if you don't get a discount on it, it's very expensive. So I just wanted to let you know that this paper does work very well. And if you have like a multifunctional inkjet printer, it should work just fine. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below, but I just want to share. I'm so tickled. Um, I printed out all my wedding pictures for my uh, fabric journal. I was going to do pictures of my relatives, and then I decided to do a, a wedding album of my own, so I will show you guys that when I'm done. You guys have a great night. Thanks. Bye.